So one more time, we are memorizing sine of x derivative is cosine of x. And we are memorizing cosine of x derivative is negative sine of x. Now, this is the proof, okay, by using the limit. Forget about the proof now, just let us uh, memorize. Now, you know this notation means derivative. d dx means the prime what we use. So, sine of x derivative is cosine of x. Cosine of x derivative is sine of x. Now, tangent of derivative, tangent of x derivative is second, secant square of x. We should memorize, but let me show you one way. Let me show you one way. No need to memorize. We are being asked, what is the tangent of x derivative, right? This is the question. Now, tangent x means, can we say sine of x over cosine of x? What do you think? Is this tangent of x? Yes, no? Yes, of course. So, do you remember the quotient rule? How was the u prime v minus v prime u divided by v squared? Let us use here sine of x derivative, cosine of x times denominator minus denominator, cosine of x derivative, negative sine of x times numerator divided by denominator to the power of two, which will be cosine squared x plus sine squared x divided by cosine x to the power of two. Now, do you remember this property in trigonometry? Sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to always one. Do you know this property? Yes, no? Yes or no? Yes. So here, cosine square x plus sine square x will be one. One over cosine of x square. Now, this is also equal one over cosine of x all in parentheses square, I can say. Why one square is one, cosine square is cosine x square. Now, do you know this rule? Secant of x is equal to one over cosine of x. This is the definition. This is definition. Secant x is defined one over cosine of x. And so my result is one over cosine of x to the power of two. And so one over cosine of x, I should know, it is secant, so it will be secant square x, secant square x. So if I come back to my slide, oops, it says that, it says that, where was it? Here, tangent x derivative is secant square of x. Understand? So you may memorize, if you memorize, it is very helpful, useful. But if you forget, you can use sine over cosine. Similarly, cotangent of x derivative is cosecant square x. Negative cosecant square. What is cosecant means? Cosecant x means one over sine of x. This is definition in trigonometry. Secant x means one over cosine of x. Cosecant x means one over sine of x. So derivative of cotangent x is this. Now, what about derivative of secant x? So let's do this together, okay? Let's give now 10 minutes break. So let us prove the answer of this question is secant x times tangent of x. And it's very important, especially when we start the integration, you will see that integral secant x dx, I will tell you, Ladies, do you remember the theorem was blah, 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 blah. Result is directly secant of x. Since integral and derivative inverse of each other. Okay, later we will 